Hello and welcome to Midnight Guard Gaming. I am your host Mid and we're back. Um, you're going to notice uh, that if you watch the part of the stream right before this uh, on YouTube or uh, the VOD, it just cuts off abruptly. <laughs> um, I had some sort of network glitch because my wife told me that she was watching Netflix out in the living room, and that had a slight hiccup as well, but nothing else went down. There was just some little alert saying that there was a network issue. Um, I heard a beep, and I was like, okay, I didn't see anything pop up, and nothing was like showing. Um, so yeah, uh, there was about 45 minutes, I believe, of like 40 to 45 minutes of footage, game footage I did not capture. So I was running around, getting ATMs and I get the last of the the relay beacons um, I had come up to this area with the turret right before um, the video cut out I was like leaving this area so after I had gotten the rest of the relay ba uh, beacons um, I inadvertently talked to an NPC who triggered another quest who I didn't want to lose so it said oh you have to come up here um, and get into this building right here. Um, he's got to hack some stuff and get some information for us. Um, so I'm like, okay, came back this way. The figured out the easiest way to get in was through past the turret. And it just so happens this guy right here, uh, he is a Dracogenics or an Eternals commander um, with shields, armor, all that fun stuff. He, we were able to brain jack him so we piggybacked off of him because he has EMP grenades we disabled this turret and some droid uh, drones that were near it took those out fought our way into the complex through here shot out all the cameras as we went um, we made our way over here replenished our ammo came back hacked this terminal and got through this door which came out here moved across hacked this terminal we had to go down this way, hack this terminal to get through the doors. We disabled, used these two machines to disable the cameras up here, moved our way up here, threw another EMP grenade, took out the turret up here, fought our way in, had the guy do his hack, and then we came out, dropped down this uh, vent out here, hit along this wall until the heat kind of dissipated. So there was a bunch of guys around here just snuck right over past them jumped back down through this door came out here by then all the people who we were kind of following behind had moved off into this area so then we could just jump right outside and we were home free um we were able to successfully do it and we got this guy still which i'm contemplating sending him for cloning if he survives the next part we're going to do the bank job real quick um so we're not going to get around to getting um the industrial zone we'll do that tomorrow on the stream because um, i want to finish the bank job tonight so that i get a boost to my atms um, oh and we got fifteen thousand bucks for finishing this mission up here hence why i'm up at 46k now um, and we're up at 6.67 bucks a second so um doing pretty well overall it sucks that that 45 minutes was lost because it had some really cool combat which you're going to see similar stuff as we go along but it was like early on the use of like emp grenades and when you blow up a turret this really sweet looking explosion happens it's awesome it looks really cool um so all right we're going to head down to the bank which is right here we're going to jump to this beacon um i'm oh yeah and because this commander he's one of the, the the good guys um he can actually just walk right through doors um the the gates and stuff open for him so we just piggybacked in behind him so we didn't have to hack any doors um we could just get through them all in that complex which was really nice so it's a really fun thing you can do um okay so we got these guys we got to get down here into this bank so this is the bank complex we had to get into here so the hogstead hogstuen and hassan global so it looks like we could go through this vent, but he can't. We might not be able to use him to get through these doors. 
So let's just move over here and take a look, see what we can see, because it's going to take a while to get over here. Um, all right, so there is something that can disable things here. It's a data cache. Um, oh yeah, and we got another op up in that same complex. We after we got out, there was oh go to this data cache. We passed like three times, um, which I was too busy fighting to notice. Um, we'll we'll fight our way back in there later. I'm sure there's going to be other ops that we have to do in there, and we can finish that mission then. Um, okay, so this is multi-tiered with a bunch of walls and stuff. Okay, so the most direct route might be right through the front door here. Go boom, boom, straight up the stairs in there. So that's probably going to be the toughest part. Um, is there a back? Oh, it looks like there could be a back entrance here. There is a vent. Is there another vent around here? Where's, oh, there's a zip line. That's probably to get out. We could probably use the zip line, but I'm probably not going to do that because we'll fall to our deaths. Um, I'm thinking maybe going in through this doorway here, this gate, and go straight for this one. We could fight our way through. There aren't really any cameras down here. Okay, so let's just go down here because that is actually outside of. Oh, crud. Nope, turn around, go back. Nope, don't go in there. Okay, so he can get in there. That's good to know. <laughs> um, all right, so let's move down here. Um... Yeah, we're going to ignore that. Um, this looks like it's going to control a lot of stuff, but I have this commander who can get us right through these gates. No problem. We're just going to wait for all these guys to kind of make their way back up into this area and hopefully clear out, and then we can run right in. This might be really easy. Would love to go in and get this data cache, but I'm not too concerned about it at the moment. All right, once they're passed, that door, or no, there's no door there, so. All right, so let's go. Well, this is going to be really easy. All right, everyone run. Oh, crap. Go in. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, cool. We got nicely done. That'll give us some spending money for sure. We're up to 78K. We've got 11,000 and 17,000 from the vault, and we get a increased siphoning. All right. So, all right. Everyone, up, play your weapons. Okay. Come on. Okay, not looking good. Oh, crud. Revive him. All right, everyone move over here. Oh, crud. Lost another one. Oh, commander's down. All right, we got to run. Everyone run. Go over here. Wasn't a pretty bank job, but it was a bank job, job nonetheless. All right, we're just going to kind of hide up here for the moment. I think we can all actually jump through this gate, this grate to get out. All right, so let's actually... Yep, we could all go through there. All right, we're just going to go hide in the alley. All right, let's just go hide back here until the uh, heat blows over. Nice. 
All right, so let's start some research because we have some insane research and we're getting some good uh, ATM siphoning now. All right, so let's start research. Um, we got energy, zip claw, weapons. Let's do some weapons. Um, all right, so let's just start a bunch of research because we can pay for all this easily. We're just going to start everything because we have a whole bunch of researchers available and a whole bunch of stuff we can research so there's two we still have 12 available cool we still have 10 available so we could do this one too so we're just going to research everything it's 30 a second that's fine we're still going to probably be well above 50k when this is all done all right so we are good ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yes, I love that. Even though it was messy, it worked. All right, so going back to this map, we should see any ATMs we miss now. Because we knocked over the bank. Okay, we missed one over here. So we only missed a single ATM in this zone. That's very nice. And it's actually quite close. Um, so we'll just go over to that relay beacon, which is right here. Kind of sucks that we lost that commander. I would have liked to have sent him back for cloning, but oh well. All right, so let's go up and get this last ATM, which is right up here. How did I miss this? It's like, oh, it's kind of stashed. Okay. Um, and we actually do have time, so I think I might run back down. Uh, I might head into the industrial section uh, zone because the in industrial district entrance is like right over here. Okay, we need to knock out this camera. Where is that hooked up at? Okay, camera, camera, camera. Is it all the way down here? That's pretty crazy. All right, let's go down here and take a look. Whoa, whole bunch of security guys here. All right, it's like a convention. All right, yep. This will knock out all those cameras, okay. Kind of a weird place for it to be, but all right. No security guys visible at the moment, so let's disable that. All right, got some time. We'll get back up here, hopefully. Yeah, it's just kind of disappointing. It was a fun 45 minutes raiding that uh, base, that compound, so. Oh well, what can you do? Okay, there's a drone coming up behind me. I'm not going to have time. These guys are crossing the street now. Yep, here comes the drone. Keep on moving, drone. Nothing to see here. Move along. Do, 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 do. Okay, I think we might be good. Let's do this real quick before these other guys get up here. They have to weave back and forth, so. All right, we have all of the ATMs in this uh, zone. So we are at 8.01 a second. All right, oh, let me get out of traffic. All right, so here is, up here is the entrance to the industrial zone. Yes, industrial sector. All right, so we're gonna jump to here and I'm gonna kill my camera for a minute because my nose is gonna just go crazy for a second. So one second.
Okay. Should be better. Oh, yeah. And it was just started running crazily, and I'm like, yeah, that, I'm going to save you that problem. Um, and I realized that maybe for the past 15 minutes there was no in-game sound because I had muted my desktop audio. Um, so apologies there <laughs> if there was no actual audio of that bank job that I just did where everyone, we had cool firefight and all that. So, um, yeah, this is just the night of all sorts of weird hiccups and bad stuff happening on the stream, both my fault and not my fault. Um, all right, so we can get through into the industrial sector, which we are going to do right now. Um, and we can start doing uh, beacons and um, ATMs. All right, so we're just going to run down here. All right, let's get... Okay. Someone inevitably is going to do something stupid as one of the civilians. Yep. He is in a different, a bad area and he's going to get shot. So I'm going to stay out of there. She's going to get gunned down. Yep. Because people get confused when these block off, so they just walk into the uh, the uh, restricted areas and trigger a security alert, which I think is quite humorous. Too funny. All right, we're going to end up down in the uh, industrial zone now. Or district. Dax Rattler Avenue. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, we're going to start doing um, ATMs and all that down here and relay beacons. Okay, um, I've just heard. Just All right, um, let's go back. Hey, let's look at the black market. I might actually buy some stuff now, since I'm getting a lot of money. Still cracking up over the R2-D2 and the C-3PO. <laughs> um, okay, so there's weapons, augmentations, um, gear, oh, yeah, that body armor. Ooh, heavy body armor. Yeah, you get the heavy stuff, don't even bother with the medium. Uh, okay, uh, back, we want industrial relay beacons. Activate ping. All right, so we got a whole bunch of ones down here. Checkpoint industrial. I'm looking for that icon because that's going to be the bank. I don't see it yet. It'll probably appear in one of these complexes. Don't think it's going to be in this big one. Probably is going to be here. I doubt it's going to be over there. This is probably a Dracogenics. Uh, it could be here. Um, okay, so, yeah, yeah, this is good, the, the stream tonight, it's going to be some really bad video, <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> just choppy, it's not going to be pleasant, and I don't want to replay all of it, because I just want to keep moving on, um, so, yeah, there'll be some little 
glitches here and there, but hey, it was only 45 minutes of gameplay, so it's not too bad. Um, okay, so let's get back to where we're at. Closest one's right outside here, so alright, we're gonna hit that one first. Oh, we gotta get through the checkpoint first without getting murdered. Oh yeah, here's the going in, so. All right, I think we're good, yes. There is a researcher. Um, so yeah, that, I had the advantage of my 22 researchers. I could research like five things at the same time, which was awesome. Oh, info broker. Darn it, I found that again. Uh, that was worth our while. Different facilities have different goodies in them, and now we know what's what. Let's go to work. Thought it was a researcher, darn it. So that was... yeah, that's fine. I'm always just like, it's a yellow dot! I'm gonna go get the researcher, and it's an NPC giving me quest stuff. At least I don't have to escort them someplace. Alright, so where is my next one at? And I gotta keep an eye out for ATMs. Um, well, there's a nice back area, which I don't think I'm gonna find anything back there that's useful. Um, I think I'm just gonna head this way, work my way down here. Um, I think that's going to be the easiest way and keep an eye out for ATMs That's cool looking some sort of big like refinery looking area. Oh ATM speak of the devil right there With a camera right over it Ooh, big dude with a big minigun there too All right, so can I hack this? I think I might be able to hack this while standing under the camera, but not while the guy with the minigun is walking around up there and walking towards me. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually in its field of view as long as I don't move any further. Although brain hacking this dude's going to be fun. There's a researcher. Oh, this could be bad. Oh. Yep, he hit me. That's fine. He's going to walk up here, and I'm going to brain hack him up here then. Not as obvious of a place to do it. What's my research doing? It's plugging along, along there. Alright, so we got everybody. Yeah, put away your weapon, dude. Alright, let's see if you can hack this well, underneath without triggering. Right, 
get out of the view. Okay, we're good. All right, excellent. Okay, dude, come on. Oh, you're stuck, really? Oh, crap. Run away. Yeah, apprehend me. Okay. Yep, and you kicked me. This is a Dracogenix Heavy Soldier. That's actually kind of cool. I think I'm actually going to... I think I'm going to send him for cloning. Because um, that could be... Carol Benson. She didn't... It didn't look like a Carol to me, but okay. Can we get this dude? That would be cool. Let's follow them. Where are you going, man? You gonna go up here? You can go up here? Nope, we're gonna go this way. Okay. I'm just gonna kinda walk behind you for bit here and see where you go. Okay, we don't want the little robot guys there. Okay, they can go the other way. That's good. No one's around, no cameras, that's good. He is a Dracogenix commander. Nice. Nice. Alright, so... I think I'm going to send him back for cloning as well. Uh, put your weapon away, dude. Oh, crap. Uh, go back for cloning. John Walker. Okay, good. Yeah, that was... Okay, come on, hide. Hide. All right, good. Finally. Jeez. Through a wall. That's awesome. All right, let's look at him. Dracogenix Hammerhead. He is increased speed, increased health, weapon accuracy. Nice. Okay, we're going to send you back for cloning as well. Elysia Kalenhad. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh. He sent something. He said something was up. They can't see me, so that's good. Might be able to hack him.
Nice. 75 health. Yeah, we are definitely sending you back. He has some grenades. He's alerted, but I don't have an alert status, so that's fine. I'm just having fun just sitting here brain hacking people, brain jacking people as they walk by. Oh, that was a U-turn that that vehicle did there. Um, oh, uh, let me look at loadouts. Um, skills. Three, two, two, and two. Okay, can I get more levels and stuff? Okay, I could do cloaking, which I think I'm going to do. So let's do that. Um, hijack, I need one more point and I could get the max. Oh, that would be so nice. And that's going to increase my range by three more meters. Oh, man, that is going to be so awesome. Um, okay, so we can do got world scale. Okay, we need one more for team stems. Oh, I haven't been using team stems. Um, let's see. I could do explosive specialist. Just finish that off. Yeah, and I could carry three frag grenades, which will be friggin' awesome. Got hardwiring, and I gotta start taking some pack meal. All right, so we'll do that. You can now carry, well, if you ever get grenades, which I'm eventually going to buy you some. Actually, I should just buy you some grenades. Seriously. I'm out of, yeah. Um, oh, I need a slot. Darn it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I need a slot. I'm getting really close on all my research. My 2x pew, my pew pew laser repeater. Yeah, I don't know what that is gonna be though. What's what is that? Is that a pistol? One of the fastest firing handguns on the market. Okay, the Kumasaka Industries pew pew will make a mess of anyone who gets too close. Um. All right, so it looks like it's. I don't think it's a. Uh, I think it's actually that might be a main uh, main hand weapon. Um, we'll know soon enough because it'll be done within the next couple minutes, I think. It will be done in a minute 23. Okay. Um, all right. So let us select everyone. And yeah, I love Team Stims. Pretty friggin' crazy. All right. So we're going to start moving along. Down this way, we're looking for ATMs, researchers, relay beacons. Nope, oh, nope, don't want to go there. Go down there. Ooh. Well, that looks kind of gross. Okay, I think this is where we're going to run into poison vents and stuff. Yep, there are poison vents. Uzi Corp. Finished our zip claw research. Where are my guys at? Oh, they're right there. I'm like, where the heck are those? Is that an ATM over here? No, that's a data thing, I think. A data thing. Yeah, highly te highly technical term, data thing. Ronin Industries. Um, I could walk in here. Ooh, these guys look interesting. I can go down here and all right let's see I want this dude with the shields let's wait for them to walk back They're walking side by side too much, so. Okay. Go in there, yeah. Go back back here. No, okay. Access 
Eh, crap. Well, at least they got him out of the air. Alright, I gave up. I give up. Come on. 1,200. That's fine. Because I just don't learn my lesson. Oh, actually. Let's make it hard for him. He's going to go up there. They're going to walk down. Hopefully they're going to get confused and not see me. Alright, and walk back out. Quick, 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 quick. Do it, do it, do it quicker. Can't figure out where he's where I'm at. That's fine. And done. Uh, put your weapon away, man. 35, you're an Uzi Corp commander. Um, yeah, we'll send you off for cloning. Why not? Christian Oberhoser. Oh, you're finally going to get up there and give yourself up. All right. Guess we're just gonna walk in a circle now. You're an Uzi Corp enforcer. Can I have more than one at a time? I thought I could. Yep, I can hijack up to four. Yeah, I think I'm going to start using these guys as fodder, because they're just enforcers. Come on, buddy. Come on. Thank you. Hacking your brain. Yeah, I'm not going to get much done. I'm just going to probably snag one or two more guys, and then that'll be that. Um, okay, so... I have... Come on, go away. Come on. Alert. Come on. Come on. Put your weapon away. There we go. Alright, so... I can get two more guys. Okay, they're too close together, so we can't do that. I'd love to get another guy with shields. Oh, there's a beacon over here. Alright. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to end it here when I get to this beacon. Oh, crap. Why well, unholstered my weapons, which I did not want to do. Alright, we'll get this beacon, and then I'm going to save my game, and we're going to call it a night. Um, so, apologies for all the screwed up weirdness that was happening with my network, and my stream, and me forgetting to push certain buttons. It was just an off night in general. Um, not entirely of my own doing, but hey, I will take the blame and the responsibility for what 
things I screwed up, which was muting my desktop audio, um, yeah, stuff like that. Um, so uh, that will be it for tonight. We will pick back up here tomorrow. Um, tomorrow evening will be the last night. This week we are actually playing Satellite Rain, so we're going to probably get about four to six hours in, depending. So if I start at seven and I go to about 11 or 12, that'll be about four to five hours. Um, depending on how exhausted I am. Um, and then starting on Saturday, when I get on Saturday afternoon, mid to late afternoon, uh, pun intended, mid, huh? um, I will be playing Battletech. Um, so we're going to play Battletech on Saturday and on Sunday as well. Um, so just going to be doing um, open-ended Merc contract missions. So um, like I said, Saturday and Sunday schedule is going to be Battletech and Monday through Friday is going to be, well, for the time being, Satellite Rain and then some other game when I complete this. Um, kind of liking that idea where I can keep playing Battletech. It won't get too old for me of playing it every single day. And I'm trying to avoid being like pigeonholed into, oh, you're you're that guy who only plays the one game. Um, I, I play all sorts of games and that's what I wanted to do when I started this channel. So um, not that anyone cares. I only got a couple followers, so that's fine. But hey, um, I'm doing this for me. I don't really. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm hoping other people find it enjoyable, but hey, I'll just keep doing it for me. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, evening, night, uh, morning, day or night day, evening, night. That's the same thing. Um, hope you have a, a good morning, day, or night, depending on when you watch this. Oh, hey. Hey, Pink Freud. I didn't even see you there, man. I was having all sorts of weird issues earlier, so I don't, yeah, had some weird outages, like my network hiccuped and all that, so. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it, so. Yeah, this is an interesting game if you haven't played it. Hopefully, you'll check out some of the other videos that I posted on it. Um, I posted a couple earlier this week. Um, and hope you can tune in tomorrow. So <laughs> I don't know how long you've been around. <laughs> if you've been around for long, um, hope you enjoyed it. If not, then I hope you'll tune back in tomorrow evening. So um, this is a really fun game. Um, I hope it's dropped in price. I think it might be cheap now because it's like three years old. So anyway, oh, just tuned in. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, if you haven't played Satellite Rain and you're like a, a cyberpunk fan, it's a really cool game, and if, if you can get it for cheap on sale, it's it's a fun fun pickup game. <laughs> so lots of fun. Anyway, uh, hope to see you tomorrow. So have a good night, man, and I will see you guys later. Bye.